This is Professor L. V. Gaikwad's English Literature Way. I am Professor L. V. Gaikwad. He is teaching today the topic lecture number 413 and 414. Here the topic is the simple sentence examples of direct and indirect speech. Here we are going to make the two videos. The first videos will be made in, into English means it will be translated into English and that video will be 413 and then second we will make the video which will be in Marathi. That's why this video is having the two numbers 413 and 414. So the topic of the lecture is the simple sentence examples of direct and indirect speech. Here I will discuss that the simple sentence examples means here when we discuss about the topic of the direct and indirect speech then the first type of the sentence is the simple sentence. So the simple sentence is there and the direct speech is there. So how the direct speech is changed into the indirect speech that is very much important. So here we have taken some examples means five examples we have taken here and these examples will be solved properly and then we will understand the way of changing the direct speech into the indirect speech with the help of the uh, simple sentence. It means that how we should change the sentences of the simple sentence uh, into the indirect speech that is the important thing here. At first I will discuss what is the simple sentence. I will say that the simple sentence is the sentence which begins with the subject, then there is the verb, then there is the object and then there is the complement means the extra words. So SVOC pattern is the simple sentence and now we will see all these sentences, how they are used in the direct speech and how they are translated into the indirect speech that is our main theme here. So here I will discuss all these five examples. So the first example is the man said to Philip comma inverted comma has been started there is no hurry now in this matter comma inverted comma it are closed and here is the full stop so remember here i will say again the man said to philip there is no hurry now in this matter so this is the direct speech now this direct speech will be changed into the indirect speech and that is this see the man told philip that there was no hurry then in that matter so now see we will discuss in detail how this answer has come i will tell you that the man has remained the same because the man is the noun and that's why we have not changed it means my point is that when there is the noun or pronoun those nouns and pronouns should not be changed while changing into the indirect speech from the direct speech so the man has remained the same the second point here is that said to has become here told means I have taken this told instead of this said to because always remember said to becomes told in the 
indirect speech. Why? Because the subject is here the man and object is here the uh, word feel. So both are present there and that's why this said to has become told that. Then the next explanation is that here this comma and inverted comma uh, these commas means the comma and the inverted comma means this comma and uh, these <coughs> I will say inverted comma and here is the inverted comma closed and full stop. So these commas and inverted commas should be omitted means we should omit the comma and inverted comma. So here I have omitted this comma and inverted comma and instead of this comma and inverted comma I have put here that conjunction. So do always put the that conjunction uh, here um, removing the particular comma and the inverted comma that is the rule. Then here this is the direct speech I will tell you means there is no hurry now in this matter uh, full stop this is the direct speech now uh, according to the rules of the indirect speech we should change uh, this direct speech into the indirect speech so now I will tell you that there, there is there there is the adverb so this adverb will not change because here will be there but if there is there this there will not be changed and that's why we have put this there as it is and here in the direct speech this there is in the capital script but here we have made it uh, made it in the or into the a small script so do always like this then this is has become was because this is the present tense and we have made the past tense so do always like this then no is the particular word it will not be changed because no uh, is the particular word always uh, we should not change it then there is the hurry hurry is the particular noun and again always this hurry should not be changed means we should not change this hurry then now will be changed because now is the particular uh, time showing adverb and this adverb will be changed so this now has become uh, here then and see it has become here then so always now becomes then and we should do that then here is in this in will not be changed means we will not change this in so I have put this in as it is then uh, this that uh, this has become that and always do this this becomes that then matter is the noun and this uh, matter will not be changed means we will not change this matter and so I have put this matter also the same and at the end of the sentence we have given only the full stop means the rule is that comma inverted comma should be omitted means we should omit the comma and inverted comma and then we should put the full stop at the end of the indirect speech that is the rule so we have seen the first detailed explanation of the first example. Now the second example is here we will discuss. Uh, here is the inverted comma uh, started means there is the starting of the inverted comma. So the sentence is I shall adjust with you tomorrow uh, then comma inverted comma has been closed and here is the full stop I say. So this is the direct speech. Now see this direct speech will be changed in the uh, into the into the indirect speech and how uh, it has been changed or how we have changed it, changed it 
we will see now see i shall adjust with you tomorrow i say this has become i say that so remember here this i uh, we have taken i because it is exceptional so we have not changed it and here is the said so we have put only said we have not changed this said into told because always if there is said we should put said and if there is said to then we should take uh, told instead of said to and that's why here is only said so we have put here said then what we have done we have then join this reporting verb part with the direct speech and that's why we have taken the conjunction that and with the help of this conjunction that we have joined these two sentences means i will say i say is the reporting verb sentence and the second sentence i will say i shall adjust with you tomorrow is the direct speech and this direct speech and this reporting verb part we have joined together with the help of the uh, conjunction and that is that conjunction so the sentence is i said that i would adjust with him her the next day uh, the explanation is that here i have taken the same i because i have told you that here the speaker is i and that's why this i will remain i because i is exceptional everywhere i have seen you then i have taken here would instead of this shall we should not take there should uh, instead of this shall we should we should take always would and that's why here we uh, we have taken or i have taken would in place of this uh, shall so always take would instead of shall then i will tell you i have taken here adjust because because here is the helping verb and this is the main verb so always when we are translating or when we are changing the particular direct speech into the indirect speech and if there is the helping verb and there is the main verb so the helping verb should be translated into the past tense and the main verb should remain the same that is the rule and that's why here uh, i have uh, changed this shall into would and i have put adjust as it is then with is there this with is the preposition and i have not changed this with then you is there and this you ha uh, you has become here him or her because if there is because there is only i say there is no object so we do not know what the object is or what the listener is and that's why here we have taken him or her because um, the uh, listener or the object uh, can be maybe uh, remember uh, male or female and that's why we have uh, written the him or her i will say and the next day we have taken means we have made the next day of this tomorrow means if tomorrow is there we should make the next day word so this is the written explanation now the third example is it said comma inverted comma started i am god full stop and inverted comma is close so the answer is it said that he was god now remember here it has been put by me as it because it will not be changed because it is the particular subject means he she it are the subjects which cannot be changed and that's that's why here this it has been put as it is means i have not changed it so it is the same then said is said because there is no object or there is no listener in this direct speech and that's why said uh, has been put as said and then i will tell you 
this comma and this inverted comma this inverted comma uh, have been omitted means i have omitted them and i have put that conjunction in place of them and i have joined this reporting part and the direct speech together with them for this that conjunction then i uh, has become here he because i am god so this i means he uh, because god is the word uh, which shows here the male and that's why here i has become he then m is here so this is the m and so m is in the present tense and so this m has become here was and that's why i have made it was then god is there and this god has not been changed because god is the noun and it will not be changed and then i have put the uh, full stop and remember here i will tell you that this he is capital because god is always capital and that's why i have taken here this he as capital uh, second means next uh, i will go to the next example and that is the fourth example and sara thought comma inverted comma started it has to be or must be my planning and comma inverted comma has been closed and there is the full stop so here now i will explain the sentence here sara i have taken sara as it is because this sara is the proper noun and so sara has remained sara then thought has uh, taken as a uh, thought has been taken as thought because uh, it is not said or it is not said to uh, so i have not taken here told i have taken thought because if thought is there so we should take thought we should not we should not take and we should not take told or said so we have taken only here thought then comma inverted comma uh, these two have been omitted means i have omitted this comma and inverted comma and i have put there that conjunction and then this it is in the capital sense i have made it in the uh, small sense means in the small script and this each has become small and so i have taken this each in the small sense then this has become had means has is is there in the present tense and each has been made into the past tense so has uh, had has 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 become had and that's why it has been done like this then to be uh, to be is the same to be because it will be the same there will be no change must will be must and be will be be a uh, my will be her because this my this uh, my is related with is related with this sara that's why here uh, my has become her because sara thought it has to be or must be my planning so this my is about this sara and that's why here my has become her and planning will be planning because it will not be changed because planning is the uh, i will say planning is the noun then last sentence is she said comma inverted comma started i shall have given understanding to myself comma inverted comma close and full stop so this sentence will be, will be uh, in detail like this uh, she has remained she said uh, has remained said because there is no object there is no listener that's why i have taken said as it is then comma inverted comma and there comma inverted comma uh, have been have been omitted means i have omitted uh, then and there i have put the conjunction that and i have joined this reporting verb part and the direct speech part uh, together uh, with this conjunction that then this i has become she because this i is related with she 
because uh, remember she said i she said i so this i means she so this i has become here she and so this she i have i have put this she in a small script because i always do like this then this shall again uh, has become would it don't make uh, should here always uh, do would because uh, this shall will be changed into would always then uh, have i have put have as it is because this shall is the helping verb and this have is the main verb and that's why here i have put this have as it is and i have translated or i have changed this uh, i will say shall into would then given is the main verb again so i have put that main verb as it is that understanding is the particular noun so i have put it also as it is and then to myself this two is the same because it is preposition so it is same and myself has become herself because this myself is related with the with the with the with the uh, subject she and that's why it has become herself so my point is that if the um, if the words in the direct speech are related with the uh, uh, subject and object then they can be changed otherwise they do not change that is the point so here uh, we have finished this video uh, but uh, before stopping here i will request you that uh, please uh, see all the notes all these notes which i have put in the description box and my request is that please subscribe share comment my channel and tell your friend uh, to see all these videos because these videos will be useful for your uh, writing of english and speaking of english so here i stop thank you thank you very much